with a distribution called the Pareto distribution and the Pareto distribution looks like this it doesn't look like a normal distribution a lot of you guys have been told about no normal distributions and how many things follow on normal distribution most things but that's really a limited case you can understand a Pareto distribution if you you've all played Monopoly I presume at the beginning everyone has the same amount of money will include property, the same amount of wealth and then what happens as the game progresses and really as a function of chance I mean I know you have to use your head a little bit in Monopoly but the basic rule is just buy everything you can get your hands on and then trade meanly, something like that so at the beginning everybody has the same amount and then as you begin to play if you had enough players you would develop an, a normal distribution because some people would win relatively consistently and some people would lose relatively consistently and so the money starts to be distributed in a normal distribution but the thing about money and the thing about lots of things is that zero is involved and zero is a, a weird place because if you're playing a trading game and you hit zero then you're done and so, and it's very hard to recover from zero and you know it's really hard to recover, you know when you're doomed in Monopoly you know, you, you can tell, you've got some resources but there's going to be some crisis when you land on some hotel and you're going to get wiped out, you know it, so there's a point at which you're headed for zero even if you have something you know, and you might be rescued by luck but you know when you're doomed so what happens is that as you continue to play Monopoly more and more people stack up as zero and fewer and fewer people have more and more money and when the game is over everyone has nothing except one person and they have all of it now the funny thing about that is that in some sense that's how trading games work you know, you, got, you might wonder why, is there, why there is inequality in a society and it's easy to consider that it's because the society is corrupt and perhaps, you know, societies are somewhat or horribly corrupt that's the variation, there's no society that's without its criminal and criminal element and fixed element anyways trading games tend to produce a Pareto distribution so that very many people have very little and a tiny minority have a tremendous amount that's the 1% that you hear about, right? 